Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be stumbling across another buried treasure. This time, it has a mystery that I just simply can't solve. I can't figure this out, guys. It is one of the most mysterious things in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, sort of near the Cumberland Forest, you might come across this location right here. And what it looks like is a tree a chest, and you will find two dead bodies. So let's start with the bodies first. Our character on the left side of the chest here is wearing a green shirt, uh, brown pants, sort of black boots, and seems to be facing towards the actual chest like he was resting or sleeping or crawling towards it. Then there's a shovel a little bit above his head. So that's our first individual here. Our second individual is located to the right of the chest and is almost sort of leaning against the mound of dirt used to like uproot the chest or at least try and bury it. Uh, he's wearing a blue shirt and black pants and the shovel is to the right of him. Now after that, we actually have the chest and the chest has a lot of really good stuff, like a lot. It's one of the best buried treasures in the game. So there's actually five items in here. There's two small jewelry bags, a large jewelry bag, and then two bill folds worth $20 each. We'll get our total when we bring this to the fence, but that is a lot of stuff right there. So when I saw this for the first time, I was pretty curious. I was trying to figure out what exactly happened here. So let's set up everything. We have a chest that's either being buried or was just dug up. We have two guys that are both dead right next to the chest, and their shovel is right next to the chest, and we also have it set right underneath this tree. Now, I think the tree is important because take a look at where we are. It's a thriving forest. This is the only tree in the entire forest that seems to be dead. So I don't know if having the chest buried next to the tree caused it to die, if what they did digging around the roots caused it to die, or if their death caused the tree's death as well. So what I'm thinking is maybe something like poison. Like if both of them were poisoned and the poison seeped into the soil around them, that would likely cause the death of the tree. Now the reason I'm assuming that is because there are absolutely no signs of foul play here. There isn't a gun, there isn't a weapon, there isn't anything that would suggest, you know, one of these guys turned violent or that any of them had any like damages to them, like gunshot or knife stab or anything like that. So that's why this mystery is so confusing. Now, in case you guys are curious on where this is exactly located, you want to look for Cumberland Forest and then look for the T in forest and sort of go a little bit to the northeast. It's kind of hard to find. It's like right on the edge of a cliff. So if you go to this exact spot where I've marked on the map, you will find it. Now, another thing that I found to be kind of funny, and this might have just been the physics of the tree, is just how wobbly the branches were. Like, don't try this in real life, but if you were to hit a tree branch like this in real life, it would hurt. It would either snap or it would, like, knock you backwards. It wouldn't, you know, wiggle around like it was made of jello. So I don't know if that's just a weird characteristic of this tree or if it has something to do with the fact it's located right next to the treasure. Again, if you guys can feel like you can give me any better insight on what exactly happened here, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below because right now I am kind of stumped. Now, because I was so stumped, I wanted to look around the rest of the area to see if there would maybe be something that would give away some clues or hints as to what happened here. Like maybe a little down the road, we would find like a knife or a murder weapon or something along those lines. Now immediately I noticed some campfire smoke and that's what I headed towards. Maybe it would tell us something. Unfortunately, it was just one of those campers that gets really, really angry like as soon as you show up. So this really didn't lead to me finding anything all that interesting or particularly special. However, and this has absolutely nothing to do with our video today, but the horse that was at this camp is like the rarest in the game. It's the splashed white American paint. Like this horse can only be found at little campsites like this. It's a, it's a really random chance. You have to get super lucky. So I found that to be kind of unique. 
Again, I'm pretty sure it has absolutely nothing to do with what we were trying to solve today. But that campfire was right there, and I was hoping it would give me some answers, but instead it didn't really lead us to anything. So unfortunately, that is a bit disappointing. However, I wanted to move on, and now I wanted to see exactly how much we got out of that treasure chest, because it was quite a lot. So remember, we got $40 right off the start, and then we got two small jewelry bags and a large jewelry bag. Well, the small jewelry bags sell for $25 each. That's a total of $50. And the large jewelry bags sell for a total of $50 each. So that's a total of $100 with the jewelry bags plus $40. That is $140 right there. That is actually really good considering most chests you open in the game will give you like some bitters or some snake oil and $12. Like that is a lot of money that those guys were burying. Now you guys might be thinking to yourself, okay, why were those guys burying $140? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, remember, that's $18.99. That money today is insane. If we take $140 in $18.99 and you know, convert that to what it would be in 2019, that's around $4,264. That's a lot of money money that you might consider bearing. So you can understand why those people wanted to keep it safe and why Arthur might have been very excited to come across said money. So don't get me wrong, $140 is a lot of money. That can buy you a ton of stuff, but $4,264 is even more money. I mean, that is like a ton. You can do so much with that. So again, the difference there is huge and it's something you need to keep in mind. Now, after I ran across this treasure, it sort of reminded me of another treasure we found just a couple of weeks ago. This is like the buried pirate treasure that can actually be found sort of underneath one of the bridges in the Blue Water Marsh. And it's weird how similar these stories are. You have what looks to be a very similar looking chest in this instance, you have one character with a shovel who was looking to either bury or uproot something. And you have, in this instance, an alligator that looked like attacked him as he was opening up the treasure. So I started thinking to myself, are these two treasures connected? Because it seems like such a coincidence that two people would either be burying treasures or digging them up. And when they did so, they ended up getting killed both by separate events, one by an alligator in this case, and the other is a big mystery. Now, if you do think these are connected, they're a bit far apart. Remember, this one is in Lemoyne, uh, sort of near the Blue Water Marsh, and the one we just looked at is in Cumberland Forest, which is either in New Hanover or Amberino. It's one of those two areas, so they, they're a good ways away. So I'm not sure if the two treasures are connected. They are incredibly similar, but they don't share any like documents. Like for example, there's not like half of a treasure map in this one and like half of a treasure map in the other. So there's nothing that ultimately directly connects them, but their stories are so similar. So it almost begs the question, did like someone find like a set of treasure maps in the world and that's what caused the NPCs to go either digging them up or trying to find more of them. Again, that's why I'm interested in getting your help in the comments down below. Maybe you noticed something that I did not in this video. Now, one thing that I think is weird and unique about both of these treasures, neither of them are marked on the map with like a sign or a symbol or anything like that. And neither of them appear in the official in-game strategy guide. After I got done recording this gameplay, I went and looked at my strategy guide and I didn't find anything about that. So it, it's one of those things that Rockstar just sort of assumes you might stumble upon. And maybe that's why the reward, especially for this last one we found, is so great. Because it's not marked on the map and you really have to be exploring to find something like this. So once again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you feel like you have a better idea on what happened here, you can let me know down there. Or as I recommend in a lot of videos, reach out to me on my Facebook page. It's so much easier to get in contact with me there. You can send photos, videos, uh, all sorts of good stuff. It's really cool to interact with you guys and see all the cool secrets and mysteries you'd like me to explore as well. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. If you did gone to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new 
or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.